hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is another what's for dinner it this is in collaboration with sammy over at managing the maze i've watched her for a little while and i love her food videos and so i reached out and was like girl you need more subscribers so let me hook you up so make sure y'all go over give her some love she's a newer youtuber um, and I know how hard it is growing your channel. Um, and y'all, she works full time outside the home. And I know how hard that is. I did that last year. I worked outside the home full time plus YouTube. And I know how hard that is. So make sure y'all go over, give her some love, go subscribe, uh, comment on her video that I sent you and make sure you give her video a big thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get started. I have got several meal ideas for you guys this week. So I hope you guys enjoy. Tonight for dinner, we are going to be making some French onion bake. It's been a few weeks since I've made this, and this is a family favorite. Winston absolutely loves this. So it is really easy to put together. I've got a pound and a half of hamburger. My light's gonna be flashing <laughs> again. I have a pound and a half of hamburger meat here. I have seasoned it with um, some beef seasoning, suckle busters, that link's always down below. Season it, cooking it up. I will drain the grease off, then we will add in the brown gravy mix, add a little bit of water, um, and then over here I've got some butter melting up. We will add our, this is a whole onion, we will add it in, get it cooking up, and get this all put together for you guys. I have the full recipe linked down below in case you're interested and want the full recipe. You're going to take one of your crescent dough sheets, line it out in the bottom of a greased 9 by 13 baking pan. And then you're going to add on your meat mixture on top of that. Then you will add on your cooked onions. I'm only going to be adding it on half. Um, Winston and I don't like onions, and so I don't add it on. Um, I only add the on onions on half for Luke's side. Then you will top it with some provolone cheese. Add your next Pillsbury dough sheet on top of that. Bake it in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes. You just want it nice and golden brown and heat it through. This is so good, definitely a family favorite. I just served it up with some sweet canned carrots and that was dinner for that night. Tonight is chili dog night. I have got these Johnsonville. I have two of the turkey one for me and then four of the cheddar for Winston and Luke. In the air fryer, I'm just cooking them up in the air fryer. And then, y'all swear I'm gonna have to buy me a new light. <laughs> 
keep flashing. I got some buns. Gonna fix some mac and cheese. The cauliflower mac and cheese is our favorite. And then I got some chili that I pulled from the stock room. We're gonna have that. And then we've got shredded cheese. Whenever the hot dogs are done, we, we can add some shredded cheese on there. And then ketchup and whatnot. Um, if I don't think Winston will eat the chili, so he can just have regular ketchup like a regular hot dog. But that's it. Getting dinner done tonight. Easy and delicious. Next is Luke's pick of the week. Y'all already know how much he loves this chicken broccoli talk casserole. I have a full video on this. I'll have it linked for you guys. And then I also will have the recipe linked down below. Next I made a chicken pot pie. I have a whole separate video on this. This, went, this video went up on Friday, so I'll have it linked down below. I have got a whole onion cut up. I have got some a pork loin that I have just cut into chops. They do not look pretty at all, y'all. They look awful, but it wasn't a good cut for me to try to, to cut myself. I should have just had it cut at the butcher, but I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this, so I just left it whole. But if you <coughs> If you didn't know, you can ask your butcher. They will cut stuff for you um, at Kroger. So I'm just going to season these with both sides with this um, Suckle Busters SPG. Both sides, then we're going to get these seared off and get cooking. So I'm, my plan is to kind of do like a French onion style. So we're just gonna kind of play around with it. See if it comes out delicious. So I'm just going to sear them all in some butter on both sides. You don't need them to cook all the way through, just lock in that flavor. So while those are searing off, I'm going to go ahead and mix together my sauce. I've got one packet of that onion gravy mix and then one can of beef consomme. And then I'm gonna add in one can of cream of mushroom. Just mix that all well till it's all combined. So I got my sauce mixture ready. We have got our chops all seared off. And then I've got my onions cooking up. I'm just cooking them to my liking. And then I just took and layered it in this foil pan. I took some of the chops out and did just like a single layer. And then I'm gonna add in half of the onions on top of that, pour in half of the sauce mixture, and then put the rest of the pork chops on top finish off with onions and then top it with the rest of the sauce and then I just baked it covered in the oven for 
30 minutes at 375 and then I did it uncovered for 10 minutes. So all that is in the oven, I'm just going to go ahead and mix together my cornbread. I just use the um, bag, the buttermilk cornbread, and then served it up with some peas, some mashed potatoes, and y'all, this was really, really good. I loved this. Um, Luke loved this. It was something different compared to what I normally make, and I will definitely be making this again. I do want to tweak a couple things before I type out a recipe for you guys. But overall, I was very happy with it. Um, like I said, I just went, we want to do a, tuple, a couple tweaks to it before I sit down and type out a recipe. And the final meal on this video was some good old grilled hamburgers and some brats. I made some roasted potatoes with these. I had had a subscriber a while back say that they did um, dry ranch on their potatoes. They tossed them in dry ranch, so I tried it. And y'all, it was really good. Um, I need to do them again, because as you see, I kind of burnt them. I was in the middle of trying to mow the backyard and trying to cook at the same time, and it just didn't work out. But that, that happens around here. We have recipe fails every now and then. Um, but a grilled burger is always a good choice. And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious meals. I hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. Don't forget that this video was in collaboration with Sammy over at Manage in the Maze. I'll have all her information listed in the description box below. I hope you all have a fabulous week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.